This is where the incident took place. The alleged victim says she just wanted to get her nails done and somehow ended up locked inside for half an hour. She says by one of the employees. Going to the nail salon is normal for Cindy Smith, and that's just what she tried to do last Wednesday night when she went to California Nails. But she says the moment she walked in, an employee started yelling at her. This is strange. Not normal yelling. She was hollering to me. It was hollering, and I never understood a word she said. Smith says the employee stopped yelling at her and walked to the back of the salon. Planning to report her, she snapped a photo of the woman's technician license. I was going to let everybody know about my first experience and last experience here. That's when she says she was ordered to delete the photo. When she didn't, she says the same employee locked the door, refusing to let her leave. She comes from the back and zooms up to the door, locks it stands in front of it blocking me and will not let me out. And I'm thinking, is this really happening? I asked several times to unlock the door and let me out and they refused. So Smith called 911 and officers arrived 30 minutes later with Smith still locked inside. Officers let Smith out but made no arrests. Instead, Smith said they told her, Not that you're going to do this, but I have to tell you, if you come back, you will be arrested for criminal trespassing. I stopped by California Nails trying to get the employee's side to the story. And while the manager would not go on camera, he did confirm the incident took place and tells me that employee no longer works here. Did you let her go or did she decide no, to leave? She decide. The case is being investigated by Longview Police. If charges are filed, they would be for unlawful restraint. Smith says she is thinking about pressing charges because she doesn't want something like this to happen to anyone else. I just wanted people to know. Again, we want to reiterate, while this situation is under investigation, we are not releasing that employee's name as she has not committed a crime by this investigation. And again, the store's manager says she no longer works here.